So it's been about a week or more since the last time I did any video on the VRO fuel pump issue and uh, this is just to fill in on what I ended up actually doing. Just in case you hadn't seen already, this is the boat. It's a, uh, a Savage Ranger. Bit of an old girl, but it does the job. Bit of a uh, quick look. Let's take a look underneath the bonnet and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so here we are. Looks a little different from the last time uh, that we were looking at it. Everything's back together. Here's the starter motor that's been put back on that was uh, missing last time. Um, last time that uh, you probably saw it. And here's the new improvement. What do we got here? This is just a standard um, even route fuel pump um, that I've put on here. And as many people have uh, done, they've removed the VRO system and they've replaced it just with a standard uh, fuel pump. And with the fuel tank, we're just putting our premix um, oil, two stroke oil, into the fuel tank. Uh, so that the fuel line is picking up pre-mixed fuel and sucking it straight uh, into the fuel pump and the fuel pump pumps it into the engine so that's what I've done here I just uh, let you know I mean there was no facility for this thing to be mounted so what I've done is made up a little plastic uh, triangle here and as you can see the little rubber grommets go through it as they were through the VRO pump, one, two, and one at the back there. And this plastic uh, here then bolts through the um, the new fuel pump, and um, all the connections have been made um, as they were. The this is the oil uh, line for the VRO, which I've um, just blocked off, and of course this is where the um, premix now comes in um, underneath here. So. This is how it goes, the fuel comes in here, it goes up through here, up through this sieve filter and then you follow the fuel line down and the fuel line comes in this outside um, side of the fuel pump, goes in there um, and then the fuel comes back out the centre, there's three, three uh, holes on here, so this is fuel in, this one is fuel out, it goes up and down into the um, manifold which splits the fuel from the top carb, the bottom carb and the um, the prime unit and uh, this third line here, this third line here is the one which goes to the crankcase uh, which provides the positive and the negative pressure uh, to operate this pump. Now I have had a chance to um, I have had a chance to check it out on the weekend we thought we'd um, give it a bit of a go and uh, sure enough that fixed all the problems this motor runs beautifully now it starts easy it idles in the water I can put it in forward or reverse um, at absolute lowest idle and it doesn't stall it just hums beautifully so gets up on the plane without even trying and um, off you are uh, off you off uh, heading off into your fishing spot or whatever you're doing diver spot or whatever it cost me forty dollars online so very very uh, cost effective way of fixing this problem just while I'm here I thought I might just run through a little bit about how to mix the fuel here we have um, this is the um, oil that I use for the for the for the boat. This is two-stroke oil. Um, 
two stroke low smoke outboard oil so all we're doing now is we're mixing up the tank um, 50, 50 to 1 so that means that if you're using mix up say 50 litres of petrol then you put one litre of oil into that petrol and um, put that oil fuel mixture into the red fuel tank and that's how the boat now runs. 25 litres of unleaded petrol to half a litre of marine um, two-stroke oil. Mix it all up together in the tank and the motor's running perfectly fine. So anyway, I hope that um, helps uh, someone out there who's had the same problem as I have. Here's the here's the VRO pump. Um, I just put it back together to keep things neat and tidy, but but it won't work. It's um, it's broken. It's it's basically um, got a few spare parts in it now, but uh, that's a, that's about all it can do. And uh, this uh, electrical connection here. Um, I was a bit concerned that it might set off the alarm but all I've done here in the boat um, actually you can't really see it it's underneath all these cables but the the connection is just um, I've just disconnected it and left it down there in the in the bottom of the engine there and it's perfectly fine no alarms are going off nothing like that at all so anyway hope this um, serves to help you and uh, happy boating